Hey everyone, Amanda Fitzgerald here and I am an independent um, stamping up demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. So welcome. Um, if you're catching this, then you're probably catching my replay. Um, thanks heaps for tuning in. Hopefully you take something away and see something you like because um, that's one of the reasons I go live. Um, also, I do upload to YouTube uh, usually once a week. So if you want to follow me on YouTube, go to Amanda Fitzgerald and you will find my YouTube channel as well. So um, please do, uh, you know, um, share with friends and family, anyone that you may think would like to watch some, some crafting videos as well. Um, that would be lovely if you can share it around because why not share? something you love so as I said today oh sorry usually I do go live on a Friday night at 8 30 uh, but last night we had some friends over so we had um, some slot car racing to do so I'm going live this morning sometimes at morning live is lovely or a morning morning crafting that's what I was about to say a morning a cra crafting in the morning is nice um, as well as um, crafting at night oh, crafting anytime is good what am I talking about but anyway I did promise an unboxing um, because I got a box. I got a my BBB. We call it our big brown box in the crafting world. So I got a delivery from Stamping Up um, this week and I haven't had a chance to open this because uh, I've been busy with work. So we will open this one together and then I need a birthday card for, for, for next week. So I thought I'm actually not going to craft with any of my new products in here um, because I'm pretty sure I have some new card making kits in here so I actually have a coffee and card coming up on Friday the 16th so next week Friday the 16th so if you are local to the Suadale Warragamba area in New South Wales um, and you would like to come to a coffee and card I do have some card making kits that you can purchase on the day um, and we just sit have a chat make some cards the card making kits are very easy that you can order online so you can order them online as well um, they're all inclusive so they have everything that you need to make some cards usually there's between six and eight cards sometimes maybe more eight that eight cards um, that, and they have all the instructions as well um, so we usually sit and have a chat and have a coffee because that's my favorite part and hopefully I make it through my life today because I just had a coffee and I had it quite quick so hopefully I don't need to go to the toilet soon um, yeah so if you are local and you'd like to come to my coffee and card on Friday morning let me know um, I have a, a couple of girls coming a couple of ladies coming um, but there's room for more to, um, and it's at a local coffee shop um, close by yeah so we just use our kits and craft so I'm sure some of these are in here that I'm going to be using and ones that I have purchased for some other people that are coming but like I say I do have additional ones because they're actually card making kits are something that I can keep on hand so I do keep a few of them on hand just in case anyone would like them because they make great gift ideas um you know, always thinking about what, what can I give that person that has got everything. Card making kit is awesome. They, and they're really nice. And they're, they're not hard because all the instructions. There even is a QR code um, that you can scan. And it um, gives you an instructions on, on what's in the kit and, and sort, of, sort of a how-to. But anyway, there's lots of information to help you along that way in that card making kit. All right, so I've just, as I've been chatting, opened my box. So what we might do is, how about I just pull things out? No, let's get the camera up. We'll get the camera up. I'll get it on my iPad. We'll get the camera up. We'll do our unboxing and then we'll get into some crafting. All right, let's do this. And that's the roof. I thought, did I hit that switch button? Probably not. All right, now let me just move my my big black chair out of the way okay and I haven't popped that side all right so you're not going to be able to oh well, you can see in the box so it comes with all our air just to keep everything nice and safe and I'm just going to pop that and put that in the bin all right now I got some new glue because I am launching and hopefully I get chance um, this weekend. I am doing an adhesives pack. Um, so it will contain um, a Tombow glue, 
um, some mini glue dots, some other adhesive sheets, um, like our dimensionals, our all different kind of things. Um, your tear and tape will be in there. So I am going to be releasing that hopefully this weekend. I have been working on it. Um, and that will be released with, um, because if you've seen on my business page, I have just um, got my first first batch. Well, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm making some more. I've got some more coming um, of my... Uh, Tombow glue holders, so they are beautiful. They're quite got quite a large round base. Um, yes, yeah, so I am. This is the purple one, um, and there's many different colours. I think I've got a black on my desk at the moment as well. So I've got one, one, one that holds my glue that is um, well and truly used, and this one's actually a new one. So I know I can. Um, jump onto my new one if I start running out of glue but it's really good because it keeps your Tombow glue upside down um, and if you if you know with Tombow glue when you store it this way you have to like shake to get the glue down so if it sits in in your holder it's very easy for you to use and you always know where your glue is you know how I'm always losing stuff well I always know where my glue is now so they are beautiful um, the shiny the shiny kind of color ones are $15 and then the matte um, colours, which I've got black, white, grey, a green colour at the moment, they're $10. So they really are nice. And um, I also am thinking about doing them in some more colours. So I have put on my business page, if there's any colours that you would like, let me know. And I can look into it to see if I can get those colours um, as well. But yeah, there you go. So they are great and I am selling them now. All right, so that's why I've been getting some more adhesives because I am on the verge of doing an adhesive pack. So, and there will be a special offer coming um, with with the um the like sorry, this will be included in the adhesive pack as well. So, um, yeah, have a look at that one. I got now. I got some now. I've got to think about this. The polka dot ribbon this comes with some new um brand new product all right so we'll do that one in a second here so i've got some more glues here so i'll just put them aside somewhere where i don't forget about them so card making kits i bought the panda one let's get the box down because it's too too big too too big all right so i've got the panda the panda card making kit is that what it's called Panda Friends Kit. So this one's super cute. Look at that. Look at the colours in there. So the Panda Friends Kit. So you can buy these all online. Um, if you go to amandafitzgerald.stampingup.net and you go to Shop Now, uh, you can actually go to the kit section via the menu and you can see all the lovely kits that we have available. There's heaps of them, um, but this is one of the new ones. So this one, I'm not sure I would say, hang on, it sh well, shows you on the front. It has, it's enough to make eight cards um, and then it has the matching envelopes as well. So that one's a nice one. And someone did say to me, oh, get me that one, Amanda. I'm going to do that one. I bought the Painted Wish Kit. Now, this one has been released for a little while, but I haven't got it yet. So, this is the one I'm going to be doing, actually, at the Coffee and Card. The Painted Wishes Kit. So, again, this one makes nine cards. Um, so, th three different designs. Beautiful for um, birthdays. And really nice. So, you've got kind of the younger cards and then this one for you. For the lovely females in in your world. I'm going to put them on the floor because there's not much room on my desk anymore. Um, I did get a couple of them, so like I say, if you want to come to my coffee and car, I've got some kits. Um, I also bought the birthday sparkle kit. And we'll, we'll, we'll open this one. Um, let's get some scissors. This one is beautiful. In fact, this between this one and the Painted Wishes, I don't know which one I'm going to create with because this one is really, really nice. Um, this one's called the Birthday Sparkle Kit and it actually makes six cards and then six gift tags as well. Hey, Martha, how are you? I haven't even got it up. I just saw you pop up. I haven't, um, I haven't even got it up on my screen yet so that remind me I'll just I know I've 
just turn that down, see if I can see myself. Hmm, hopefully I'm in the right spot. Why can't I see myself? Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know where I am. Let me try again. Oh, yeah, maybe I'm onto something now. Here we go. Right. Yes, so, um, yeah, makes um, gift tags as well. So very handy. So not only can you make a birthday card for someone, you can do a gift tag as well to go on the present. Yeah, or, or if you kind of have someone that's not really, you know, not really give them a card, um, maybe some, you know, males in your life where maybe not a card. Well, I say always give a card, but <laughs> you could just do a gift tag and write a message on there to go with their present, which would work well as well. So that's that one. And that one, so I think the other ones, um, they, they have non-stamping card kits um, and, and then stamping card kits. So whatever you need anyway comes in that box. So there's that. Oops. Yeah, I'm just going to put that in there because that's got the name of that. Well, it's probably got it on the bottom. No, it doesn't have it on the bottom. All right. So that's that. And then I got the Rock Legend. This one looks fun. This one's great for the boys and the girls in music, but it's good for guys' cards. So you're a legend and you rock. So again, eight cards with eight envelopes. So that one's shiny, shiny, but yeah, there we go. So I got my kits ready for the new year to get me back into my coffee and cards. Now the other thing, oh, now the other thing. These are products that are not available to customers anymore. And people go, well, why show us? Why show us if we can't even get them? Ah, you can get them. So at the moment, there is an amazing join offer. If you are thinking of joining Stamping Up and joining my team, or if you've been a demonstrator before and you'd like to reactivate your account, like if you would like to join back again, you can and you are most welcome. Um, and if, if you're not working with a demonstrator, I'd love to have you on my team. Um, but if you're working with a demonstrator, then join their team again. Like this is an awesome time to join. So it's um, only runs in, so February is the last month. And they're not running this promotion again this year, um, like the celebration promotion. And it is, it's a kicker of a join offer. So you can get the glass mat for free. So this glass mat is worth $106. So it comes with your, your glass mat. Absolutely perfect for stamping. Um, you can get the little rubber little tray, um, which is perfect. It sits and does not move on your mat. Um, great for water coloring. I've shown heaps of things on it. It really is cool. So you can get this for free. So you pay $169 and you get $235 worth of product um, of your choice. And all you pay is $169 plus you get the glass mat for free. Now, if you're not interested in the glass mat, so I've had one lady uh, grab the glass mat and then I've had one lady who joined and just got extra product. So there's another free, there's another option where you can get free product. So instead of um, $235 worth of product, you get an additional $51 more. So you get $286 worth of product of your choice and you can get these, these products that are just launched. So only demonstrators can buy these at the moment. Latte love if you're into coffee. Everyone knows I'm into coffee. This set is beautiful. Um, yeah, so $286 worth of product for $169. And you get free shipping on your your, your join offer, your, your join starter one. And then you joined up with Stamping Up. It's no obligation. You can just buy that starter kit order and some products that you want. But then if you do want to stay active and get your 20 because then you get 20 percent off all your orders so if you want to stay there is the only catch there is is you have a quarterly minimum to meet now you don't have to sell people say well i don't want to sell and i don't want to do parties you don't have to not once will stamping up say you need to host a party or you need to get a sale you don't have to do that um, so it's just your spend. So you need to spend about $126 a month. Now, if you spend $200 um, 
a month, then that brings it down a little bit less for the next month. But it works out on a quarterly minimum. So over the three months, if you, if you spend like, you know, $400 in one order, then that will help you to your quarterly minimum. But I'll talk you through that. And you know what? If you don't want to worry about all of that, join. Get some of your things off your wish list first at the amazing offer. Then um, order what you want. And then if you find, oh, I've had enough now, you can just let your account become inactive and then you become a customer again. My customer and I help you as a customer. You you can't lose. Um, it, it really is obligation free. So anyway, if you'd like any more information, let me know and I'm happy to help you. But time is ticking. There is only this month left and it's gone. But you can get these new products. So I've got um, the Latte Love. The beautiful new embellishments, look, they are lovely. Look at the detail on those. They actually look like a latte. Those ones, the beautiful polka dot ribbon. And then this is the paper, and I'm, I'm seeing double, guys, because I had to buy two packets of this. So, love this paper. And I haven't even seen it in real life. I just loved it when I saw it online. So, we're going to open and have a look at this. So when you go in, it's really easy to join. You can just go to um, one of my links that are on my business page or go to amandafitzgerald.stampingup.net and go join now or shop now. Now, of course, it's a great time to shop as well um, because for every $90 you spend, you get a free product at the moment from Celebration. So if you have one of those, if you have one of these little catalogs, that's all your freebies in here. So when you're shopping... And as a demonstrator, you get this as well. So as a demonstrator, when you spend $90 retail, so that's minus your discount, you get a free you get a free item. So you get either free paper when you spend $90 or you get a free stamp set. Um, you get free dies. I actually got um, these. I actually have them, but I am saving these ones. I actually got these for somebody else. Um, dies that go with an awesome stamp set. Look, it's, it is a time to shop as well. Believe me, I am busy getting my freebies. Okay, now. I'm trying to get into this without totally wrecking the plastic. Look at those. Now, you could, I'm pretty sure. So, let me just. Um, yep, yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure this comes with dies. Yep. Yeah. I even got two of the embellishments because I love, love. I just, wow. That's all I can say. Who loves coffee? Hands up for coffee. Latte. Hot chocolate. Tea. You know, anything. Any beverage that takes your fancy. Alrighty. Okay, whoops. Got paper, plastic everywhere over there. So I'm pretty sure I had to open these dies. So these dies go with it. So you've got like a little, um, I don't even know what they're called, but mum, my mum used to make them all the time. Anyway, if, if anyone can tell me online what that's called, because <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but I know mum used to push the plunger down. Oh, it will come back to me. Like a kettle, um, your little cups. And I'm pretty sure... Yes, these dies match. Look at that. So you can just die cut those out and put them on your card. How cool is that? So that's, probably find that one's, is that one a little bit littler? No, I think they're all the same size, so just my eyes. Yeah. Nope, they all fit. So that's pretty cool. Didn't know that till I opened it. Beautiful. Thank you, Stamping Up. So then they have the back side. Look at that. It's like a coffee mark. You know, you know when you um very often my son gets this mark on his on his like the top of his nose when he's drinking a coffee with the chocolate. Well not hot chocolate, I should say. And it goes all over his forehead. I have some awesome actually that would make a perfect scrapbooking page because I have I'm gonna have to do that. I have a beautiful shot of him with that exact mark when he was littler. Beautiful colours. So what's some of the colours in here? Now remember, on the back of your 
designer series paper they'll tell you the the coordinating colors which i'll talk coordinating colors and how easy it is with stamping up but they have them on the back i won't go through these ones because i probably will when i create with them so again these would work with your dies so you've got um the coffee cup oh no this one sorry that one no that not that one no 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 i'm sure it would work Oh, well, maybe that one doesn't. Okay, maybe those ones you might need to just cut them ones out. Still an option. Look at that. That's cool. Some beautiful. That's a lovely colour. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, and I love how you, I love it when they do one of those on the top of your coffee. So, like I say, you can put this whole set now. I can't remember how much this whole set is. Um, I would love to jump on and tell you. Um, but if you go, you know what, I'm going to try and jump on and, and show you how to join and how easy it is. But yeah, you you can either pick products, like you can go through products, or you just um, type in the item codes. Um, but in this particular one, you won't see this one on the customer website, but it will be there. Like new products that are just available to us, because that's one of the perks of joining. Once you join, there's so many perks that... Um, you just you didn't know until you to you in it and yeah and then you will love it like i did and i hung around and then i just wanted to share it with the world so for this order i got but the jungle dies for free and i got this beautiful paper um which i have shown before because i had to get another packet so i got the softly i will see if i've got my open packet rather than opening that one otherwise i have too many open um, oh, that's not it. I thought that was it. It might not be in my room. I thought it was just to the side here. No. Anyway, I don't have it close by. It must be in my lounge room. I must have been, I think I was using some of the product, yeah, some of the pictures. Anyway, it is beautiful. Um, it is for free it's this one here really really pretty so that comes free with a 90 dollar order and when you do your order it'll come up and let you know that you have a free item to pick and you just click on a little um symbol and it will um get you to choose which ones you want for free so they are beautiful so we're going to put them back because we are not creating with these ones today because like i said i needed a birthday card and I thought, why not today? Oh, I also got this one. Sorry, I love these sentiments. So I got this throughout the year. And this was just off my wish list. Um, it Because I had, look at this, happy, happy Easter, happy holidays, happiest of birthdays, you mean so much. Be my Valentine, thank you. Trick or treat, best of luck. So everything you need throughout the year in one go. So, and that's a great name because I just said it. Yeah, it just, there you go. All right. Okay, so let's put that box down. And let's craft, hey? All right. I didn't even check how everything was set up, but it looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, now just chuck that one back over there. Okay, so we are crafting with today. One that I haven't used today, and I've just been playing with it this morning. Now, I did watch a lady this morning, um, and I will tell you her name. She was actually quite good, um, if you can look her up. Her, her name is Karen Sawinski. Um, she's from the States. I can't remember where. She had some good tips um, with this set, so I just wanted to reference her name, um, just in case I, I watched it, and I, I look, I may be using some of her ideas um, yeah, for placement and that. She had some good ideas. All right, so I'm just trying to look around my room. Oh, here we go. Because that's the dies. Sorry, that's the stamp set. And the dies that go with it are these ones here. And they're interactive. So this is going to be an interactive birthday card. Um, now, remember too, just wanted to say, if you're shopping with me and you do spend that $90 to get your free celebration item, if you put in my host code, 
But if you're spending over $250, don't put the host code in because you actually get 10% free. So if you spend $250, you actually get $25 within that order to spend on free product. So, but if you spend under, put that code in and then I can give you a free gift. So as soon as you spend $50 or more with me, I send you out a free gift. Okay, so yes, interactive cards. So I've just got it over here. So it actually does this kind of thing. These two circles and this heart do a little pull tab. So you can actually just see, let me see if the camera will let me. It's got like a little, it just leaves these little pieces perforated, is that what it's called? And you can just pop that off to reveal a surprise underneath for the card. All right, so that's how it kind of is going to work. Now, obviously, when I make the card, I'm not going to pull it open because I want to give this to someone next week. So, but that's how it works. It has those little little parts and you can pop it out. Now, Stamping Up are also doing this other challenge that I noticed on their website. Like I say, when you get in, you can do, you can do heaps. You can be involved in so much. Like we have events that you can go to. You have training if you want to learn more things. There is a host of so much, so many things crafting. It's not funny. Um, you get to join a global private Facebook group, which is called the Demonstrator Planning Place. If I have any of my team that are not part of the Demonstrating Planning Place, you let me know, guys, because I need to hook you up. Um, because they have training, they show us tips on the products, um, so much. I learned so much off that Facebook page. But anyway, stamping up on their Facebook page, they have a colour challenge. So I thought, I'm going to take part of that colour challenge while I make a card. So their colour challenge is to use these colours, and how beautiful are they? I got them out and I went, oh wow, they work. So I've got Parakeet Party, Fresh Freesia, Tahitian Tide and Lemon Lolly. Look at those. So this is the good thing. So that's the cardstock paper. Then you can get from Stamping Up the exact same ink pads in coordinating colours. So there's the coordinating ink pads, which do these beautiful colours here. Then you can get some 6x6 six six paper. Like if you want some 6x6 six six paper to match in with those colours, then you've got your um, six by six colors that match in well there so we've got some dots and some stripes you can't go wrong when you're making a card um, you now that's Tahitian Tide and Parakeet Party um, I might have they do come in different packs but uh, no I don't have that one I just got those ones out because that's the ones I was working with but they come in like in a six by six pack different kind of packs Anyway, there is a host of things. So if you're thinking right now, oh, I want it, I want that, I want that, oh, it's too much. If you're, going to th if you're thinking of putting in a $169 order or more, join, just ask me about it. Really, it's, it's the best way to go. And I would rather you get the benefits than me get the benefits. Love, be ha happy to help you as a customer, of course. I love... I love helping my customers as well, but would love to help you on my team and for you to get the best value. Okay. All right. Now, let's get started with this card because I just keep going on and on and on because it's just such a great month, February. And I'm super excited. Like, everything's going on. I'm, I'm just in my absolute world of crafting because I've even got these babies, you know, uh, for sale as well. And they're, they're directly from me. So, um I've been having a awesome year so far with my crafting. I hope everybody else has too. But I would love to help you. Okay. Right. So I I stamped these ones out because I was trying to, to decide which colour I wanted to, to do. So I think... Now, this time, I don't know actually. I have no idea really what I'm doing. I think I might actually do a base... Of lemon lolly. Yeah, let's. I was going to do a base of white, but no, 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 no. We need to be more adventurous, don't we? So we're going to go a base of lemon lolly. So we'll cut that one. So a full A4 sheet. 
and we'll cut that at 14.8, which is directly half. And then I know that's going to give me two cards. So then I'll just use the top of my cutter and I just fold it back and then crease it. Oops. Now I just got my bone folder and I just score that along there. And then it's just easier to work with because it lays nice and flat. Alright, so I'll put that lemon lolly back. I have done a little bit of die cutting ahead of time, so I will show you that. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use these, um, but they are, look, they've got flowers and like gingham on the other side. So look, I've got them out because maybe, maybe. So I'm going to put them up there for the moment. All right, so we're going to have that. We're going to use um, some white, some basic white. That's a must have in your craft is a packet of basic white. Now, remember too that you can buy these in the catalogue with multiple colours. So you don't have to buy a full pack of the lemon lolly, like the yellow. You can get um, mixed colours. Actually, I have one here. I'll show you a mixed colour. Here's a mixed one here. I don't know whether you can see that. I'll see if the camera can see that. Yeah, so that, that this is actually a mix of the neutrals. Um, so that's all the different um, neutral colours there. So you get different. So I think you get four of each colour and there's 20. Oh no, that one might that might not be. No, two this one's two sheets of each and 20 in total. So yeah. If you just type in cardstock on, online, you can see all the different range as well. Or it's in your catalogue, or it's in the catalogue. If you want a catalogue, I have lots of catalogues waiting to find homes. Let me know. Alright, so we'll get some cardstock out. Actually, I've got some cardstock printed, don't I'm not printed cut. Here's my little box. So I've got my normal, this one's cut at 10 centimetres and 14.4 and it usually fits nice like that in a layer like that. Now I don't think I want to use it like that but um, because I think, I think behind here we're going to use this colour here. So we're going to cut this piece down to, so it's 10, I'm going to take it down to nine so nine centimeters by 13.4 like that now I don't want 13.4 because I just really want enough so Thinking about the die I'm going to use, I'm going to use this circle one. Oh, I'm torn between the circle and the heart. I think I might use the heart. Yeah, I'm going the heart. Um, so I just want this, this heart to be on there. So I, I'm going to actually just... I really want it to be probably about that big. <laughs> Let's see what that measures, hey? And then anyone who needs measurements, I've done measurements. So that measures nine. Yeah, nine by nine. Nine by nine sounds good. Hey, that's what I said. So we'll do a nine centimetre by nine centimetre. So that's a nine centimetres by nine centimetres. Now in the Tahitian Tide, I'm going to do a 9.5 by 9.5. Have I got a piece that's close to that? So 9.5 by 9.5. That and that. Beautiful. And then that is going to go on there like that. lovely um now we're going to cut another one out at nine another white one at um nine by nine and i will explain that soon okay so we've got two at nine by nine 
we got our Tahitian Tide that's going to sit under and that one in fact this one that this one I'm actually going to cut a little bit smaller I'm actually going to cut it at 8.8 because .8. this is basically going to sit underneath so my message my secret message you know how we're going to give it a pull tab on it my secret message will be underneath All right, okay. So we just gotta make sure. Secret. <laughs> I can't spell secret. <laughs> anyway, the one with scribble on, I don't wanna stamp on because that one fits underneath, doesn't it? Let me see if I've done that right. Yeah, just, just a smidgen, right. So this is our one that we're going to do now. We're gonna grab our cut and emboss machine. I'm just going to make some room. Grab our cut and emboss machine. And we'll put that on like that. And that is going to sit directly in the middle and we're going to die cut that now. I always say to two people too, if you're if you're thinking about getting a new cut and emboss machine, you can get that as part of a join offer, like a join start up starter kit, because the starter kit is not in any shape or form products that Stamping Up pick for you. It is any product you want. You put in that starter kit order. So you could put a cut and emboss machine. I think they're worth two hundred and. 15 19 something like that put that in your starter kit and you're only going to pay 169 dollars for a beautiful new cut and emboss machine these are the best cut and emboss machines i have used so far um, I, I love them i don't i actually don't have any other machines now except for I, I do have a brother scan and cut but that is the only cut and emboss machine i use now okay right so i've done that and hopefully it's fairly um it's fairly straight so that's going to go there then what we're going to do is where's my piece that i scribbled on this piece here is going to go on here and then that piece is going to go over the top so we're going to actually put a little bit of glue on this one and glue that one down now Now I know why I watched that lady as I do this part. I'm like, now I know why she did it. Now I know why that Kim that I was I watching was her name Kim Karen, Karen Karen Sawinski. Now I know why she had such a great idea. So let me show you what she did. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chop this again. So I put that there because that's what I want to stamp on. Now I'm gonna grab. This is what she did, and I couldn't really understand why this morning when I was watching it. Now I totally understand. So, if we grab a piece of just your, your normal A4 copy paper, and we chop this one at nine centimeters by nine centimeters, so exactly the way our cardstock is, and this totally makes sense now awesome work to that lady so what she did was she grabbed her and actually i'm gonna to have to cut another piece my, my chair is really squeaky today i think all right so we'll just um find another piece of cardstock here i've got cardstock going everywhere i'm just going to do a nine by nine over here bit short okay get a new one Amanda anyone crafting today I'm only crafting this morning I actually know what I don't I don't really have any plans I don't know what I'm doing today 
Okay. Oops, I kind of stopped at these. Okay. No, 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 no. All right. So who knows? If I'm not doing much, I will be crafting. Okay. So this. So you grab your little A4 piece of paper, your A4 piece of paper, and you lay it on top. This totally makes sense now. Your A4 tape paper on top, and then put your die piece on there. Now, I've actually got a magnetic plate. Stamping Up don't sell the mag mag magnetic plates at the moment. They did, and they um, discontinued them because they did actually have a problem with them. But I buy this from a local... Um, crafting shop it's actually called spotlight in Australia um, and it fit, works perfectly with this machine and it just saves it moving or you you can use your um, like any kind of reusable tape like a washi tape so then we just feed that one through and then once that comes out what you'll actually have is so it will still cut, when I separate them, it'll still cut your die beautiful. What it's actually done, and see this is how your interactive works. I can show you. So when we, when we, um, let me show you. I'm going to show you what happens. So when you actually do this on a card, let me do a little bit of a stamp. Hey? This is fun. Um, I'm just trying to see, what, what sentiments do we have in here? Oh, make a wish. Let's use that one. That's nice. Make a wish. I'm actually doing a little a teenager's birth um, teenager's birthday card. All right. So we'll grab a block. So we just put that one on there. So what you're able to do is. Well, no, so what you do is you're going to have to, I'm going to have to just take this off first. So with the little, prof when that's on cardstock, it probably would work a little bit better. They just, they will have a little thing, a little message that will say pull here, they pull. And then they're going to, then this template you can use to make sure that you're stamping your, sentiment or whatever you're putting inside in the actual space where your heart's going to be like where your surprise is going to be there we go now where's my so we'll give that a bit of a clean all right so that's how that's going to work let me show that chuck that over there amanda all right now where's our card here's our card there's our base Here's our, so here's our piece that we were going to, that we're going to use as the base. So this is our actual cardstock. So we know now that if we put this on here, actually I don't need my bottom part at the moment. If we put this on here, then we know, and I may even just grab I went to look at the washi tape the other day and I didn't have any, but I've got a bit of post-it note. We know that if we stick this here, that when we put our little message inside, which I'm going to use that make a wish. Now I'm just trying to think of my colours. We'll use Tahitian Tide for the make a wish. So that will go in there. And then because I'm feeling a little bit fancy and I want to use all these colours, I'm going to grab the Lemon Lolly and I'm going to grab out of the packet the flower, which is not in the packet because I was stamping with it. So it is somewhere here. Here it is. And what I'm going to do is the great thing about this glass mat is I'm going to stamp off. I used to stamp off onto paper. I don't need to anymore. So I'm just taking, so this is a good thing, um, and they call it stamp off, but you can get two different shades, sometimes three, um, different shades of colour from your ink pad. So I'm just going to put that like that. All right, so we know all that's going to be under the heart. So we've got that there, and then we just make sure we wipe that off. I've only got a rag here that I've been using for all sorts of things. So 
So I usually do that. And then they give you a nice chamois with this glass mat too. So I'll just clean that off just to make sure it doesn't go on any of my... It's amazing how that's... I've got the fan on and it's dried. But it wet. It comes like you're wet, wet. Actually, it's wet. I'm trying to find somewhere to put it that's not going to be on paper. Right, there will do. Okay, so we'll close that up. How's everyone liking this? What do you think, Martha? You like this one? If Martha's still with me. Um, right, so we've done that. Now we've got our interactive piece here that's going to go on there. Now we need to write our little um, pull me. So not, not pull, just pull. So we've got our little pull in here. You've got pull or open here. The open here is more so, this one here, open here, is more so for, and I'm going to try and make another card with it. It's this one here, so it's like a pull one. So all the perforators on there and you pull it across. And then you can reveal this nice sentiment here that says you are simply amazing. So that's cool. But we need our, um, our pull on here. So we're going to... Put that down now I need a little block for that even your blocks you could get in your, your starter kit offer because if you buy all your blocks together which believe me you will need them um, yeah you buy all your blocks together you get 10% off and then you can buy a nice case but just getting a 10% discount on all your blocks is good and then put it in your or get it now and get free products Right, so we just put that on. So we've got pool. Now, what colour do we want pool? I think I think our pool needs to be in Tahitian Tide as well. So you could either put the pool. I think we will put it in there. Um, you could you could put it next to, like next to, the tab. Or um, now this one's quite little, so I'm going to just test. Or you can always have a piece of paper and just test how. Um, that will actually come before you um, stamp on your actual card. So I think I've got it happening. All right, so we just in the middle there, and because I'm using that clear block, there we go, pull. Because um, the blocks are clear, you can see through them, so you can see where you're putting your inked image. So we'll put our pull away because it is tiny. <laughs> I could lose it. Yep, there we go. So we've got our pull. Now, so they're both ready to go. And then we're going to have it on our, our base on here. Now I'm just trying to think. So now we're going to decide on a flower. And I think I'm going to stick with the the Tahitian Tide flower. Yep. So now we're going to, we'll, we'll stamp a flower. Now I wanted to just give you some tips. If you're struggle, struggling with your photo polymer, and especially when there are a couple of um, big images like this, like the heart and the flower, if you're struggling to get like a real bold image, um, you can either, you can some tips for it is you can use Versamark. So if you, Versamark is an ink pad that we used for heat embossing for the for the powder. But if you just cover your ink, your stamp first in that Versamark and then directly stamp onto your ink, then that will give you a beautiful full image. Now I'll clean that up. The other thing is, is the glass mat. If you're thinking of getting a glass mat, the glass mat really helps as well because it, what you very often find, well, what you can find sometimes if you're not getting a real solid image is the desk you're stamping onto might not be sturdy enough. So and I know I do have a plastic desk um, in my room and when I do press on that, it may, it, the, the image is not great at times so put your glass mat down and use that if not get yourself something foamy like a foam um, surface and that just gives the photopolymer something more and I'll just do it on the same here something more to um, like 
bounce into, stamp into, whatever you want to call it. So that's, that's a couple of tips on how to get. If all else fails and you've stamped and there's just one part that is really bugging you, get your coordinating markers. So these markers are beautiful. So grab, a, grab some markers for yourself. Now, FYI, you know how I keep talking about celebration? They've actually... Not only do they have that whole book of freebies, you can actually get additional freebies now when you shop. And one of the packs, so you spend $180, some of them are, some of them $90, some of them $180. So you spend $180 and you can get a, a pack. So the pack is this size. I actually don't even have this pack. Um, if the pack is this size, you can get these for free with a $180 order. That That's... I don't know how much these are actually, but they're a good value. A good, it's a good deal. Um, let me see how much they are for you, because they are a good deal. Now, if you need help joining or even placing orders, don't hesitate to give me a call. I'm, I'm happy to help. So that pack, the pack that they're giving for free here, the core colours, is in the catalogue for sixty-eight dollars seventy-five. So you place a $180 order and you get those for free if you wanted those for free. So yeah, so what I was saying too, if you find you've stamped an image and, you, and you've and you stamped it on your card and you, you're at, you can't stamp another one because it's part of your card, all you need to do is grab your marker, grab your marker and either the little tip or the thicker tip, whichever one, whatever you're trying to fix and just... Just colour it in a little bit. And what you'll find is that'll dry, obviously the same colour, because that's they're all the same coordinating colours. It'll dry and your image will be fine. We'll, we'll watch that dry anyway. I'll bring it back in. So that's that. So there's some tips anyway. I thought that might help because sometimes I do have problems with that myself. All right, we'll give that a bit of a clean. So now we've got our flower. So we'll go put that, so what, what, with our flower, so we've got our cut and emboss machine here, so we get the dies, and I said that I have dyed cut some images already, so in here you've got one that will go around, of course, you know what I use to pick things up guys, when I, when I, when I, <laughs> When I drop things, I grab my take your pick tool that has a little putty on it and I stick it and I grab it. I do it with the die as well. Sometimes it picks it up. Depends how heavy the die is. Okay. Now, I'm not going to waste this run through my embossing machine because I want to get... So you just move this flower until... You just saw me rotate that until I get it in the right spot. Now, I'm actually going to grab some... Some of these like this have i got some probably not <coughs> i just wanted to i don't think i need them but this is what i very often do when i'm card making so i'll show you how how it all goes so i grab some of the other dies whatever dies i have on in my pack at the time and I will just cut extras out. I might even cut one of these. I haven't actually got one of these yet, but I might just see what that comes out in a white. This one has a beautiful cut. I've seen some beautiful cards made too with this, and that has a, um, a die too that cuts out the cake. Now, I haven't been watching because I've been so busy just trying to show you different things. <coughs> I've lost my comments. Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, hey, Patricia, how are you? Yes, loving it. Might do this one today and copy your great idea. Yep, yeah, that's what it's for. Amazing cards. You make amazing cards too, Martha. And hey, Nola, how are you? Awesome. Okay, yes, that's why I do this, so that the things I learn, and I learn them very often from other demonstrators as well. I can't find, I just wish I could find how to learn to, how not to lose things. Um... Yeah, and I like to pass on what I see as well. So I <coughs> so I put all of that in. I'm going to have to have a drink. Put all of that in in one go, and I'm going to have a drink. Oh, I'm 
and then we've got our our flower now I've got some other images here so I'll just put them in there oh there's a little white flower and then I've got another one of those and then our leaf and another flower all right now I'm just gonna pop that out I just use my take your pick tool just to pop those little bits out there we go right. now I have been keeping these part the the parts that come out of the leaf because I'll tell you why in a second here we go all right so put them over there okay now whoops they're bouncing all right we'll just try and put these back on here So we're going to have on this little bit here, our pulley tab, we're going to have a flower and then some different, different bits and pieces that you get on here as well. Um, now what I was going to say is, yes, yeah, so you see this, this one I've actually, oh no, this one I haven't. I have actually so you could you could lay that down and you probably can't do it on this but you could either have this with the pieces in or have it as a um a single like just the the, the outline but obviously i i have to stick all this to the flower for my pool so all right now i did do one in lemon lolly here problem with the lemon lolly is it's not a problem <laughs> Amanda used refer to myself as a third person um, I used my um, so I have adhesive sheets and this well yeah I have adhesive sheets that well let's use this one so the adhesive sheets turn any let me get a piece of paper that I used any cardstock so you stick it on the back like that. So actually the flowers have it. You stick it on the back and they come in sheets like this, adhesive sheets. So they turn any die cut piece into a sticker. Okay, so you can purchase them. They're one of the many adhesives that Stamping Up do. So what you can actually do is, this will just, let me show you with this one. You just find the end so it's like a sticker, clearly. You just scratch that end just to get the sticker going and you pull that off and that is now sticky, like a sticker. So what we'll do is we'll put that on here. So it has to it has to actually be on my heart because you don't want it where, because remember they're gonna pull this and break those perforated edges and then it's going to reveal their little surprise so when we stick this stuff down we only so i'm going to put all of this to the flower like this so that's all going to go like that so we're going to just lift all that up together now and i'm actually going to stick that to the back of this so i'm going to grab my tear and tape And then that will go on here and then that will only get stuck to the heart so that when it's pulled it will come with it so that will go like that so then we will grab um, we'll put actually some dimensionals now in there and actually I'm not going to put dimensionals I'm going to use um, I'm just going to use some of the foam adhesive sheets 
and I'm going to cut a piece. Once I find where my scissors are. Oh, hey Gail. Hey Angela. Glad you found me. Oh no, I'm just shaking it up on. I'm doing something different. Um, not really. Just some life. life. Gotta do other things on a Friday night. Hey, well, actually, last night. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. So I'm going to take that off and stick that on there. That way I know when my person receiving this card lifts, they're going to lift everything. So then I'm going to take that off. And there is my flower on my pool. Okay, that's awesome. Now what we're going to do on there, and where is my bean? My bean is still up over here. Found my other thing I was looking for. Um, is I'm going to use some Winker Stella on this and add a little bit of glitter to this flower. Whoop. So this is just a glitter pen, which is falling apart, <laughs> which was untwisted. Lucky I felt that. And this is just going to put a very slight shimmer. Can you see that? It's always very hard for the camera to pick it up. But there it is, just that shimmer. Really pretty, that is. All right. Now, so we have that. Now, because we've placed that in the right spot, when our receiver of this card pulls where it says pull, then it's going to have that make a wish underneath, which is going to be awesome. So we need to make sure this is sturdy. So we're going to put some glue. Just loving my new glue holders I'm selling. How, how cool does it look? Yeah, so I have these for sale. Have a look on my business page. This one's $15. And then I have some other flat colors. Um, this one's the black for $10. So check them out I'm super proud of them all right so we just put some glue around there and I've actually tried it in my holder I've when I've been making heaps of cards I leave it in there um, open and then I can just keep using it I've, I wouldn't leave it in there open when you're not crafting but yeah it works pretty cool not pretty cool it works pretty well okay so I've glued everywhere except for when they're going to pull their little interact when they when they pull their little interactive heart out where it says pull. It obviously the rest of it will stay behind. So they're going to pull here, they're going to pull there, and reveal their little make a wish underneath. So then that's going to go here, and I think all I'm going to do here is. Um, I think it needs just something more. I think I might just grab. Oh, I don't know. Do I leave it? I was thinking of using this little flower with some lemon lolly and stamping around here. What do you think? Leave it plain. I need help with this because I might just go and stuff this card. Leave it plain or put some more flowers on it. Help. Okay. Um. Oh, because I need, I need some of the, I need, oh, hang on, maybe I'll just maybe put, I might put that on there. So this one's got the adhesive, so I might just, I think, anyway, you guys let me know. But I think I found a little bit more colour, because I need to use all the colours. And this is getting another colour on there. So I'm going to just pop that one out. And that can go under there. And then what I've done is I've kept these little pieces in here. Get my little putty thing, turn that around the right way like that. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in there. That now won't come off my fingers. 
got it. Um, just a little bit of glue in there. And that glue is coming to an end. Um, so I pick up with my take a pick tool and I'm going to put that in there. Just like that. Now you could even go as far as getting all the little pieces and putting them back in, but I won't. I'm just going to leave that with that. I think that's enough. I don't think it needs anything more. No, I'm not going to put, do anything more. No, I don't think so. So then all we do is we want to, I'm going to put, hope your birthday is wonderful. And that's going to go here with the fresh freezer. Yeah, let's give that a go. is wonderful now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just poke, stick this down here so I know where my sentiment is gonna go and I can line it up straight as well okay Amanda loves her glue but just make sure you don't get it near the edges because then it will ooze out, but if you put it everywhere else, you're fine. And then with the glue, you can always, you've got that little bit of time to wiggle it and get it straight, and you're right then. There we go. So then we want to have our sentiment in, I'm just gonna test this next to it and see if I, There we go. Hope your birthday is wonderful. I don't think it needs anything more. I, don't, I mean, I, when I say I don't think it needs anything more, I don't think I'm going to put anything more on the white part. Now that's being a little bit unruly. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of glue and just put a little bit under there and press that down. There we go. So there's our card. We do need some dimensional and we've got some not dimensionals we need. Now we can either put some colours on it or we can put some bling. I think we're going to put some basic rhinestones. In fact, I think I'm going to use diff two different types of... So we're going to put this one. Whoops. I'm wondering whether I want that there instead of that blue. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. There we go. And then we'll put a little one... in the middle there and then we're going to put three rhinestones on it oh thanks Angela that means a lot everyone like Martha Martha Angela Gail Patricia all of you all, all part of my team and you guys make beautiful cards so I love it when you guys and I think some of us are involved in our card swap that we have going on where we're sending cards to each other. So, oh, Angela, yours is coming. <laughs> Isn't it funny when someone lives close by, I put everyone else's in the mail and I'm a slacker and I'm, I'm coming soon. Um, so there's some, just some, I don't, and I don't think this needs ribbon. We could put a little bit of ribbon on it, um, but I don't think I can't close that drawer. Something happened with that drawer. I don't think I do need any ribbon. No, I'm not going to spoil it with any ribbon. Um, less, less is more sometimes, and I'm going with that with this card. Now, the other thing we need to do is 
we need to do the inside. So we will grab a piece of cardstock. So this one is our 10 centimeters by 14.4. And this is gonna go in here so we can write on it. So on this one, we're gonna actually do our love heart in our Tahitian Tide. So we'll go like that. And we'll grab our Tahitian Tide. Actually, we might, we might just stamp it off. We might just go like that. So not the full heart. There we go. And we'll clean that one up. And then I wonder, um, I think we might inside, because <laughs> this is a real special card. So we might just inside write, you are simply amazing inside as well with some fresh freezer. Why not? If you're going to make someone feel special, why not make them feel really special? So you are simply amazing. And we will glue that one in there. In fact, I might actually, on that one, I'm just going to use some... Stamp and seal on that one. Just like that. There we go. So there's our little interactive card. Now I can't show you what it does, but if you watch the beginning of the video, you will see that when they pull this off, they'll get a little message under and un, underneath. So super cool there you go well hopefully thanks angela thank you everyone hopefully um you like that card and like i say so it's a stamp set and die so if you buy the stamp set and the dies um together you do get that 10 percent saving um yeah cool well have a great weekend everyone and have a good week stay safe um and catch you all later bye